morning, Team Alabama. We have a busy week. This, these are the announcements for August the 31st through September the 4th. So a lot's going on this week. On Tuesday and Wednesday, you are going to take NWEA. Tuesday, you will take math. And you will not have assignments for any of your class or any of your Zoom calls um, for uh, your other classes. You will just focus on getting your math NWEA finished on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, you will focus on finishing your reading NWEA. So during English class, though, for the rest of the week, on Monday, we're going to read another chapter in Stuck in Neutral, and we will finish it up on Thursday. We will finish the last two chapters. On Friday, we are taking two Achieve 3000s, and you are screenshotting the, your scores and sending those to me. You need a 75% at least on these, and if you get a 100% on the first time through, I have chips for you. Uh, when you return to school. You will have a bag of chips for every 100% that you get on the first time through. So just know that I'm looking at those and thank you to all of you that are sending me those um, screenshots. So on the list of things that are due now, that's growing. Your poems should be in. You should have those turned in. Five poems that are 10 lines long with one line about why you like that poem. Your stuck in neutral facts should be turned in by now. And your vocabulary words that go with it, there are 10 vocab words and their definition in 10 questions. And your autobiography should be finishing up. This week we're starting a new thing and we are starting your biography. You are interviewing someone else and there's a template that's attached to this week. Be thinking about who you want to interview. It can be a good friend. It can be a best friend. It can be somebody you text a lot. You can text them the question and they can answer it and then you can put that in your writing. So be thinking about what student or what friend you want to do your biography about. Now an autobiography, as you learned, is about yourself and you use a lot of first person. So you use I. I have always lived in Anderson. I am 14 years old. Now, a biography uses the third person point of view, and it's a he and a she, and those are the pronouns that you use when you describe in a biography about someone else. I hope this helps a little bit. Have a great week, Team Alabama. We will not do Zoom calls on Tuesday and Wednesday because of the... NWEA, but we will Zoom on Monday and Thursday. Please email me any day of the week if you have a question or send me a phone number and give me a phone call. Don't forget to do your daily quiz at the top and let me know that you are here and in attendance. Thanks so much. Have a great week and let me know if you have questions.